Hello everyone, in this video I will be treating the upper back with some advanced massage techniques. But first, I will be demonstrating how I use a massage gun tool to effectively warm up the area. Let's jump right in. As promised, I'm going to start this video off with a demonstration on how I like to use a massage gun tool to effectively warm up the tissues. And this is a um, Hypervault, it's by the company Hyper Ice. I like this one a lot. Um, they especially have this cushion head, as they call it. And I find that cushion head to be very effective when it comes to a goal of just simply warming up. It really brings blood flow to the area and, and really feels great on the client. Um, the, other, the other tools are better for more specific uh, sports style, deeper tissue massage. Uh, but this cushion head I really love for warm up work. So focusing on the erectors here, the rhomboids uh, in between the shoulder blades along the upper trap. That's kind of my main goal with this particular warm up that you'll notice. And so also uh, working over the sheets is just more comfortable uh, than working directly on the skin in this case. And moving on to a forearm massage stroke warming up the areas a little more this is the double forearm stroke uh, be mindful of your body as you're leaning over your client's head and then just a nice uh, back and forth there rolling just remember to use the medius part of your forearm it's not really an elbow technique it, it really should be called a forearm technique um, and then here Focusing on the erectors, it's two hands. My other hand is on the upper trap. You can see it better in this angle. So again, that's a nice relaxed wrist. All of the pressure is leaning into the meaty forearm that you have and that you can use. And all just warming up uh, those erector groups nicely and then can transition to focus more along the shoulder and the upper back as well. The trap, the rhomboids. And now bringing the arm off the table really opens up um, the lateral side. So the lateral border of the scapula, the latissimus dorsi, teres major and minor. the triceps even as you roll off there, and then now the medial border as well. Just a great way. And now zooming in there, you can see that meaty part of the forearm. A broad stroke is your goal here as you warm that up. And some um, mobility work here is effective. I like to throw in mobility work in between strokes um, as the, the main goal really is to increase range of motion and mobility. Um, when, when working these kinds of techniques and therapeutic massage. Bringing the arm up behind the back opens up the medial border of the scapula nicely, allows you to get uh, underneath it a lot easier. And then here, just using the thumbs to really focus on the rhomboids, just some specific targeted work right on the rhomboids, feeling for tight areas, for adhesions. And then a nice uh, focus on the upper trap and some more uh, range of motion. My hand now slides underneath the anterior part of the shoulder on the table there. And then I can have a lot of control by lifting up on that shoulder. It's another way to get underneath the scapula nicely. Here's the upper trap again. The levator scapula attachment here as well. And then some uh, cross fiber friction um, just to really kind of hone in another technique here for the rhomboids. And then you're going to look for the spinous process of the vertebrae. And once you find that um, index finger thumb, you're simply going to sink into the lamina groove here 
and push away from it. I'm just focusing in on that area. It, you know, all those, the multifidi, all those deep rotator muscles get overlooked a lot and really releasing that well is highly effective to help reduce pain levels. This is um, more range of motion and uh, movement in there. This is a great way to end today's routine. Just a nice love to the neck here and the occipital ridge. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you got some great value out of those videos. Please consider the other videos in the library as well. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you found value in that, please consider subscribing. As always, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. Stay healthy, stay strong, and I'll see you on the next video.